Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushah, Bahashem Yahushah, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the name God. God, in His name, Hebrew means He exists. And Yahweh is the only begotten Son, who the word only calls Jesus Christ. And His name in the Hebrew means He is delivered. Bahashem is in the name of God, the Holy Spirit. I want to give Dharma to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone as well. Peace and blessings unto the shocking that's pushed forth in the truth throughout the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom to brothers and keep pushing and the double shalom unto the Israelites that's looking like the other nations had to share with them. I want to say shalom to brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dubai from Jim and Salon St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back and get another video. And. In this video, I don't know what I'm entitled as yet. Well, something to the fact is, man, the angels are here, okay? The angels are here. Yahweh Bashim Yahashah are here. And this is the most ultimate faith faith booster, okay? Because a few years back, you know, you had the football game. You know, and I had to borrow this from the, the elder brothers, uh, Ashiar's channel, you know, uh, Shalom to their brother, Yabba Shemesh, I broke it down. And this, this is um, the picture on the right, as you see the angel at the football game, which clearly that's an ancient man, you know. You can tell that he's not of this world. He doesn't even look, well, he looks human, but he don't look like a mortal man. And you got another man that's in to the left, which that'll, um, uh, my watch is out. If I'm pronouncing the brother's name right. All right. Uh, my watch is out from GMS uh, LA's camp. Um, and, you know, it was an angel that was behind this camp. All right. And Khan, like, this is the most, like, man, like, your brothers and sisters out there, this is some heavy, heavy spiritual activity. Okay, this is literally heavy because hey, we read about this in the scriptures all the time, but we are actually seeing it. You know, we see the chariots and we see that. But literally, this this angel, this this angelic being was right behind the camp, you know, just chilling. Okay. And this goes into the perfect scripture. Psalms 34 and 7. And it reads, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Right. So encampeth. Right. And where was these brothers at? They were at camp. Okay. Right. So, yeah. What is that? GMS. Uh, what is that? Bond God. To, you know, and that brother put out some fire videos. All right. And so let's watch it just a little bit. There he is there. And you can see he has a white beard. Okay. And at this moment he came, it was this uh, Edomite looking individual that started to speak. And as you see, he has a Mitri. All right, you can see the white beard. And you can see the austereness without even seeing his face clearly you can see the austereness all right oh, wow. now before he leaves all right he's gonna he's gonna uh give like a, a salute gesture wow man like that like that is literally amazing okay that is literally amazing like wow if that don't abuse your faith, nothing will, man. Like, cause that is crazy. Hey, like, we in those times, I can. So yeah, it's time to prepare to get up out of here, like depart from Babylon. So this is Ecclesiastes 23 and 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten times are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. 
beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts, right? So, right, so the eyes of the Lord are who? The angels. You know, they watching everything, okay? And, yeah, they at the camps. Well, if you just read, the angel encampeth, right? So the angel was camping with those brothers, you know? They always watching, okay? So, like, you, you got to be a fool to fall out now. After seeing all this, but, hey, it is what it is. We just have to just pray and uh, hope that we continue, you know, and do what's right and uh, be uh, tried and refined as Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah intended us to be. Because if we are part of the elect, we're going to make it through that process. And everybody else going to fold. So this is Hebrews 13 and 2. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, but thereby some have entertained angels unawares, right? Yeah, whether they're talking to them uh, face to face or if the angel chilling, you know, you don't see them. Okay? <laughs> like, man, like, this is heavy. Like, I don't know if you occupy there. And I want them to understand how heavy this is. Like, like, like we literally just saw an angelic being. We literally just saw one, you know, on, on camera. You know, like that should get you pumped. Okay, that should get you pumped. Like, yeah, you know. So Second Maccabees three and twenty four. Now, as he was there present himself. With his God about the treasury, the Lord of spirits and the prince of all power caused a great apparition so that all that presumed to come in with them were astonished at the power of Yahweh and fainted and were so afraid. Right, so yeah, apparition. Okay. For there appeared unto them a horse with a terrible rider upon him and adorned with a very fair covering. And he ran fiercely and smote a Heliodorus with his forefeet. And it seen that he sat, that he that sat upon the horse had complete harness of gold. Right? So you had an apparition that was on a horse that came and uh, kicked Heliodorus and he fell. Moreover, two other men appeared before him, notable in strength, excellent in beauty and comely in apparel. Who stood by him on either side and scorched him continually and gave him many sore stripes, right? So they a Jay saying where they beat the brakes off of him. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna see many encounters like this. Like, like this is just only the beginning. Okay? As we get closer and closer to the end. I mean, we already in the end, but it's different levels to the end. <laughs> Okay, and Heliodorus fell suddenly on the ground and was compassed with great darkness, but they that were with him took him up and put him into a litter. Right? Thus him that lately came with a great train with all his guard and and two well, so like I'm read that again. Thus him that lately came with a great train and with all his guard and two the said treasury they carried out being unable to help himself with his weapons and manifestly they acknowledge the power of Yahweh right so they are going to acknowledge the power of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh especially you Edomites okay it says because that you Edomites are agnostic atheists and, or you just flat out just worship Satan Okay, how about Shemel and Shah is going to show you damn devils that, that he is the only power. Okay. Verse 29. For he by the hand of Yahweh was cast down and lay speechless without all hope of life. But they praised the Lord that had miraculously honored his own place. For the temple, which a little afore was full of fear and trouble when the Almighty Lord appeared, and was filled with joy and gladness. 
Then straightway certain of Heliodorus' friends pray Onias that he will call upon the Most High to grant him his life, who lay ready to give up the ghost. So the high priest suspecting least the king should misconceive that some treachery had been done to Heliodorus by the Jews, offered a sacrifice for the health of a man. Right. So the Lord showed mercy after he, you know, be, uh, beat him into a pulp. All right. But kind. That just shows the power of the Lord, man. Cause hey, the Lord, the Lord ain't no joke. I mean, people, you don't forget about the Lord, but the Lord about the, <laughs> about the, about to check you, people, man. Right, like man, like this is some heavy stuff, man. Hey, call Allah, Allah, I'm like how about Shmuel or Shai? Like, like literally, we looking at an angel right now. <laughs> we looking at a man from another dimension. <laughs> like this heavy, man, heavy. It's like. Judges 13. Judges 13 and 1. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistines 40 years. And there was a certain man of Zorah of the family of the Danites, whose name was Man own Manoah Manoah Salakia Manoah and his wife was barren and bare not and the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold now thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Now therefore beware I pray thee and drink not wine nor strong drink, and eat not any unclean thing. For lo thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come upon his head. For the child shall be a Nazarite unto Yahweh from the womb. And he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. Then a woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came unto me. And his countenance was like the countenance of an angel. Very terrible. But I asked him not whence he was. Neither he told me, tell he me his name. Okay. Right? So kind, yeah, very terrible, very austere, very uh, analytical, you know, because the angels, they analyze you. Like when they come here, they analyze in everything. OK. <laughs> All right. So kind. So we're going to end it off with that. I want to say shalom. Hope that's edifying.